requires since uh, 1989. We've always done a very varied um, type of music. The stuff is more challenging, I think, now than it used to be because we're so much bigger, and so that opens up a whole new repertoire. It's something I've been doing since I was a little kid, mm -hmm. uh, through public school, through high school, through college. I was awesome. always in things like this. Yeah, I've never been anywhere where I wasn't in a choir. Okay. And so we've moved all around, but I've always been a choir. So it's been, it's part of my life forever. Years ago, I was in a church choir, and I joined that when I was really young, like a teenager. And it was all older people and me, a teenager. <laughs> but that's how I learned how to sing, my alto part, because I sang with people who had done it forever. And because I don't read music per se, I mean, I can go up with notes that are on the page going up and down, but I don't read music, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I can pick things up very quickly. <laughs> I don't think any of us in and of ourselves is incredibly outstanding, but when we're all standing together, we're incredibly outstanding. <laughs> so we sang in a variety of churches and halls for benefits over the years. And the first concert on record is actually there's a picture in the Gazette, December 16, 1988, All right. which shows um, the original group playing a benefit. Uh, Dr. Nora Rogers was the president of Quint Summer Music, where the first prize concert was performed with uh, its um, program, a mixture of madrigals, quite a potpourri of music that they just gleaned from their own personal collections. And uh, yeah, so we've done very well, and then we came up with the uh, rather pretentious name of Command Performance, but that has stuck, and uh, and that's what we're known as. And it's been uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me, I must say, and I think for a lot of other people. We certainly have been enjoying Moira. There's no doubt about that. The choice of music has has been fun and uh, very interesting, and very different in many cases. So. I remember going into the um, festival in Belleville at one point, I think it was probably our second year, and uh, being told by the adjudicator, now that is what music is all about. have the odd new member but what makes it exciting for me is the people that have been there a long time because they just naturally fall into their parts and they know their parts so well and that way you can start singing with confidence a lot sooner than you, you would expect because they're already singing so confidently and out there that you can go, yeah, I can sing out there too. <laughs> because normally when you're first rehearsing a song, you feel kind of tentative, you know, you don't want to sing out too loudly because you're going to make a mistake. But really who cares because that's what rehearsals are all about, is making mistakes and being corrected so that when we do perform, it's all polished and beautiful. <laughs>
like about this choir is that it's never the same thing. You know, we have done uh, some really interesting things. Like one year we sang um, uh, Gondoliers by uh, oh, Gilbert and Sullivan. And wow, that was completely different. We even wore costumes. You know, normally we're in black and, you know, we sort of, everybody's all the same. But this time it, there were main characters and they got to sing. And then there was the choir that sang the backup chorus. And it was a whole different feel. And it was really exciting because people got to actually do a little bit of acting. But we're there all together and we're all supporting each other as a choir. So it was definitely a choir production of the Gondoliers. And then we've done this very recently, we've done uh, the Nosferatu silent film singing the background music. So that again was something completely different from just singing regular choral pieces. And our conductors really do like to put together interesting music. And wow, how they, they put things together for Nosferatu is just amazing, really, how it all came together. And we've performed that, I think, four times now. So, you know, it's, it's been exciting, I think. Uh, it's it's never the same thing twice, you know, like it's always something different and new and exciting. So when you come to rehearsal, it's always going to be something new. Christmas is about Christ. That's why we have the holiday, you know. So I have no problem singing about uh, like Christmas carols and the type of... Um, religious themed or sacred music that that we sing at the Christmas uh, season. So it doesn't matter to me whether we sing that or whether we sing non or secular music at the at Christmas time. You know, every year we try and change it up. So sometimes we have a few sacred pieces and a few other pieces, even some funny pieces. We've done everything because we want to be able to be uh, enjoyed by everyone at Christmas time. And in the spring, we usually sing concerts that are fun and exciting and vibrant and different. So, you know, there's something for everyone when they come and listen to our choir. I mean, we sing all different styles of music. In Everything. fact, we make an effort to not always sing the same style because it becomes boring. If you keep doing the same style, you get really good at that style. By you. So I'm interested to know, you know, which style of music Willie maybe enjoys most doing with the choir. Oh, well, I can tell you that. My, well, because my absolute favorite music is jazz. So, of course, I like those pieces the best. And I always look forward to singing some jazz, but, you know, it's not always sort of relevant for every concert that we sing jazz but it just so happens that in Nosferatu we sang some jazz pieces which was excellent a lot of spring concerts that we have we sing some jazz pieces so I'm always a little bit satisfied <laughs> at every concert like last Christmas we did a strange wonderful weird combination of Bach old, good old but very difficult Bach and then we did this avant-garde, modern Daniel Pinkham in contrast to him, and it worked. And But you would say both of them are art pieces. They're not jazz, but... I love the Daniel yeah. Pinkham. Yeah. <laughs> Blows that was, your mind, that, that stuff. Was, that was my favorite, and I thought at first, when I first heard it, I went, oh, I'm not sure about yeah. these pieces. Yeah. But they grew on you, yeah. and then once you knew how to sing them, 
then you could actually deliver that to the audience too that comes to hear you because we did have to go through a lot of acrobatics yes. to sing that and to make it look good. well to make it musical and yes and to make it sound easy yeah to make it sound like oh yeah 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 but it wasn't easy <laughs> Sorry. no it was hard it was a triumph no it's always great but jazz is definitely yeah my first love and I find though after you sing jazz it makes the classical easier and yet after you sing classical it makes the jazz easier <laughs> you know yeah. like uh, it's interesting is there any jazz in this, uh, this concert I wouldn't say there's jazz no I don't think there's I don't think we're really doing jazz although we are doing some very contemporary that thing we just sang at the end of the rehearsal that silent night and two other pieces are by um, Barry Goss, who just recently died. Oh, that was a Barry Goss yeah. piece. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. And it's it's absolutely lush, beautiful, romantic. Oh, make make you weep type music. And uh, he's from Belleville. He's from Belleville. He got his brother's permission to sing this music, and then Andrew Farmer got on his computer and made nice clean copies for a, everything that we're singing is, has been um, not arranged by him but cleaned up so we can see it on on uh, brand new stock so wow nice because that stuff was going to be lost and now we're kind of reviving it and bringing it back to light so that's nice I'm glad people are going to hear it this guy was from Belleville
now go. Ooh. Now stretch your mouth again. Ah. Okay, now if I can do that in front of you, surely to goodness, you can keep remembering to open your mouth because it's way better to open your mouth than to sing like this. All right. That's what I want, all right? But you're bring up five and down on the Oz. Uh, jump in in the key of G here. actually started um, as an offshoot of a choir that was for Quinty Summer Music quite a long time ago, 20, 22 or 3 years ago. And uh, yeah, so we've done very well and then we came up with a uh, rather pretentious name of Command Performance but that has stuck and, uh, and that's what we're known as and it's been uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me, I must say, and I think for a lot of other people. And we certainly have been enjoying Moira, there's no doubt about that. The choice of music has, has been fun and uh, very interesting, and very different in many cases. So, uh, so we sang in a variety of churches and halls for benefits over the years. And the first concert on record is actually, there's a picture in the Gazette, December 16th, 1988, All right. which shows um, the original group playing a benefit. Uh, Dr. Nora Rogers was the president of Quinty Summer Music. So the first prize concert was performed with uh, its um, program, a mixture of madrigals, quite a potpourri of music that they just gleaned from their own personal collections. I remember going into the um, festival in Belleville at one point. I think it was probably our second year and uh, being told by the adjudicator, now that is what music is all about. <laughs>